To his supporters, Thomas Lubanga left McCulloch Prison in Kinshasa a hero. But to others, he was considered one of the most dangerous warlords in what's now the Democratic Republic of Congo. <laughs> You know me better than these three international criminal court judges who tried to present me as a devil. I remain Thomas Lubanga, who suffered with you in 2002, 2003 during these conflicts in Uturi. I remain the same to you, my people. This young girl was among many who was taken from her family, trained and forced to fight in the Second Congolese War. Lubanga headed a militia called the Union of Congolese Patriots, or the UPC, one of six groups involved in fighting for control of the mineral-rich Ituri region between 1999 and 2003. He was later found guilty of abducting hundreds of children under the age of 15 and forcing them to fight. He denied the charge. 10th of July 2012, an historic moment for the ICC, its first ever case, arrest and trial. Lubanga armed group recruit, train and use hundreds of young children to kill, pillage and rape. Mr Lubanga is sentenced to a total period of 14 years imprisonment. Lubanga showed no emotion as the presiding judge read out the verdict, a 14-year sentence that would be backdated to the time of his detention. A few years later, he was ordered to pay $10 million in compensation to the families affected, a fine his lawyers say he could never afford. Aid groups estimate that around 5.5 million people died as a result of the Congolese War between 1998 and 2007. That's more than any other conflict since World War II. We do believe that the release of Thomas Lobanga will resolve some issues related to the current insecurity situations in Ituri, because he was among people who were fighting for our peace and security in Ituri region. Lubanga's supporters consider his release a sign of hope in an unstable region. But after being found guilty of sanctioning massacres and forcing children into war, many others will not welcome his newfound freedom. Laura Bertamanli, Al Jazeera.